Hello, my name is Dan Weimer, and I am here from Red Wing, Minnesota. Um, it's wonderful to be out of the cold and in the warm for a little bit. I appreciate you guys for having me. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, judging. I have I've judged a lot of shows, and I've also been judged a lot. So, it I understand the difficulties on both sides of things. Um, a lot of times, people think judging is subjective. It is subjective because I think judges carry their own criteria to the show. Um, I, I look at design and I look at technique, but I really reward for creativity and I love to be entertained. So I, I've just spent about an hour walking around the room and there are certain pieces that want me to look at them closer. And so I try to decide what makes them uh, entertain me. And I try to come up with, with something that um, quantifies why I feel the way I do about a piece. So I have seen a lot of watercolors over the last 40 years, and I do like different things. I like things that are executed well, but I like I like unique paintings. And so, um, like I always say, in situations like this, I'll make about six or seven friends, and then the rest of the people will be enemies. No, I'm just, just kidding, but... But there is a little bit of truth, a grain of salt to that. Okay, I'm going to start out with um, the first honorable mention. And it's the Poetry of Color I chose here by Paula Weech. And I love this piece. Um, I loved it when I first saw it on the computer. And it's interesting, when I, when I saw the pieces come across the computer screen, I try to visualize how big they are, how small they are. Are they brighter? Are they duller when you see them in person? Um, this one translated well, um, both on the computer and in real life. And I think, I think it's difficult um, to do a really high quality non-representational work. And this piece entertained me. Um, it's, it's trying to illustrate an abstract, an abstract thought. Poetry in itself is abstract. And so I just, I love the shapes. I like the energy. I like the rhythms. I, personally, I like finding rhythm in work. And this piece just struck a chord with me. And so I gave this um, the first honorable mention. Okay, um, the next honorable mention that I chose was Gin Rummy by Margaret Erath. Um, I like this piece. It was very different, very stylized. Um, she really flattened the space. She turned the whole piece into a mosaic. Um, I like how you come into this piece and you come and you explore all the shapes, but in the end you come back and you zero in on the little light that hits this playing card down here in the lower left. And to me, that's almost the focal point of the piece. Um, I thought it was just very uniquely done. Um, a long way from looking at this vase of flowers and painting what she really saw, she really fractured it up and she put her own, own style to it and I really liked it. Um, so I gave her the next honorable mention. Um, the first award of merit goes to, um, the name of the painting is We Can Do This by Jean Pasek. Um, it is a beautiful little watercolor. Um, when I saw it on the screen, every time I see a piece on the screen, I always want things bigger, bigger, bigger. but. Sometimes a little jewel is what it takes to, to solve the problem. And this absolutely is a little jewel. Um, I, like, I like when people find abstract shapes in realistic scenes. Um, I just thought it was wonderful, the little warmth that reflected on the underside of the hat. Um, I thought the hat was wonderfully done. And just the highlight on the back of the horse and just little bits of detail. Um, Jean says a lot with little, a little bit and indication is tantalizing. Sometimes when you spell out every detail, it doesn't give the, um, the viewer a chance to complete the rest. So this was a little jewel. I gave uh, her this award and she did a really nice job. Thank you, Jean. Okay, this is my um, second award of merit. Um, it goes, the name of the piece is Base the Floors, uh, Vase of Flowers by Robin Miller Bookhout. Um, this piece is just a beautiful piece. You can tell it's a skilled watercolor artist when it looks effortless. Uh, it looks like it was painted a la prima. Um, you can tell that she left some of the areas dry that she wanted to remain white, the white of the paper. And it's just such a, um, a smoothly painted piece. Watercolor is interesting because you can tell if a person struggles painting a watercolor or if they're fluent in watercolor and they just put it down and they put it down right the first time. Um, 
I love the piece. I love this little piece of white down here on the bottom of the glass. The light comes in the glass and it peeks out the bottom. I thought whether that was a happy accident or whether that was intentional, it's marvelous. And there's a looseness and a spatter. Just the whole thing was really appealing to me. Color, composition, handling of the media. I thought it was wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, this next piece, um, I gave the Lois Ann Keller Award of Distinction. And I gave it to Mystical San Xavier by Chuck Albanese. Um, I love this piece. It's very sophisticated. You can tell the person has really painted watercolor for a long time. It's maybe one, either the only one in the show or maybe one of two that's a nocturne. And I think nocturnes are much more difficult to paint. Um, just the little tiny happy accidents of the little pieces that never got water, that never took pigment on the paper. I think a successful nocturne really plays down on the color and plays up on the value contrast. There's little bits and pieces of color. Um, initially, when I looked at this, I thought, oh man, it's right in the middle. But the more I looked at it, it's not. It's below middle and, and the pieces on either side vary this piece to make the composition really, I think, dynamic and exciting. Um, Chuck had two pieces in the show. He also had the bike reflection. So I really, from both pieces, I really wanted to give him a high award because you could tell um, he compositionally and technically is really proficient and both pieces are very exciting, excited to look at. But of his two pieces, I thought this piece was, in my opinion, stronger. So it was less, less predictable, believe it or not, being the nocturne. So thank you, Chuck. Excellent work. My next award winner um, is the Colorado Weaves Through Grand Canyon. And this receives an award of excellence. Um, this was painted by Rick Wheeler. I love this painting. Um, it, it kind of is how I think with big shapes and big designs and making something strong and simple. He painted on a kind of a textured, a textured board. I don't know if it was textured paper mounted to the hardboard ampersand panel or if it was kind of the pastel surface. But there's a wonderful little patina where he drags the brush across and gets some complex little colors. Um, I love areas. To me, you come in here in the lower left, you enter the painting, you come in, you come around and you almost do a circle. And then I come over here, there's a little surprise over here. But I like this circular motion and both this piece and my best of show piece kind of have a circular motion in it. Um, Again, I like when people, it, it, the vantage point is interesting. I understand when you're looking in the Grand Canyon, you're looking down, but instead of a static looking straight across at a landscape, it really has an aerial bird's eye view. But I just, I like it when something works at a distance from across the room, the value structure holds together, the color structure holds together, and then I come up close and look really close and see a different painting. So I thought this was a magnificent piece. Um, if it was two or three times larger, I would have given it best of show. I wrestled between this one and the one I gave the best of show to, but wonderful piece of art. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Rick. And drum roll, please. Finally, for best of show, I gave it to First Frost um, by Judith Cohn. And this piece was, was really special to me. I kept coming back to it, coming back to it. I waffled a little bit, but in the end, I loved um, how sophisticated it was. I loved the texture of it. Um, like I said very early on, I think it is, it's harder to do a good abstract than it is to do a good realistic piece. Um, I, I love the, the depth to it. It almost looks like an archeological dig. You can take any individual spot and you can look down and it almost seems like there's ghost images where collage is covering collage and color is co color, um, covering color. And there's wonderful glazing. Um, I like your eye comes in here. And again, like I talked about in the last piece, you move up into this area and you almost come back around and do this circular, circular path. The, um, the small little bits of collage are almost like little individual paintings, little individual jewels. And I spent a lot of time looking at this piece. I almost spent more time looking at this piece than, than a lot of the other pieces. And I just, I thought that the, 
the color sensitivity, it's not garish, it's just the textures and the colors, the whole thing comes together, and to me it was the best in the show. So there you have it. Um, whether you agree or disagree, it's a wonderful show, wonderful artists, and it, you made my decision very, very difficult. Thank you, thank you very much.